Hello, in this problem we are going to find this indefinite integral. This is from an old book I have. It's called Integral Calculus, and it was published in 1917 by a mathematician known as H.P. Phillips. He is the author of this book that was published in 1917. And this is one of the exercises in the book. So we have x to the n minus 1 dx over x to the n plus a to the nth power, and we have to integrate this. So I think it looks a lot harder than it is. I haven't really done it yet, but let's try to do this by letting u be what's here. So we'll let u be equal to x to the n plus a, and then du, we'll take in the derivative, you bring down the n, and then you subtract one from the exponent, and the derivative of a is zero, so you don't write that and then dx. And now we have to make uh, what we have here look like what's in the integrand. So we're missing an n here. So let's just divide away that n. So this is one over n du equals x to the n minus one dx. All right, now we're ready to make the substitution. So this is equal to, so all of this is right here. So it'll be one over n du and then on the bottom, we just have this piece, which is just u to the n. Cool, right? So this will be one over n. We want to write this as u to a power so we can bring it upstairs and it'll become a negative exponent. So this is u to the negative n du. Now we can integrate one over n. And what you do is you add one to the exponent. So it's u to the negative n plus one over negative n plus one plus our constant. So it's equal to one over n times, and then, hmm. So when you bring this down, it changes the sign. So before I bring it down, I'm gonna write it like this just to make it a little more clear. This is one minus n. So maybe I, maybe I won't bring it down. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. And then this is one minus n plus c. Let's just leave it like that. So this is equal to one over n. And then u, u is right here. It's x to the m plus a. This is x to the n plus a to the one minus n over one minus n plus the constant. And that would be the solution to this integral. What an interesting problem, right? Very different from what you see in modern books. So yeah, good luck.